everybody, it's Kimberly Locke. Auditioning for American Idol was one of the most exciting times of my life. <laughs> yep, it was right here in Nashville, Tennessee, where me, over the rainbow, Ruben, there's a ribbon in the sky, Ricky, one last try, this time, and all of us got our golden tickets to Hollywood. See you in Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> now, for the first time ever, you're going to hear from all of us about our amazing journey, not to mention, check out some of the outrageous talent we've got here in Tennessee. Don't you want somebody to love? Ryan. I love you, I love you, I love you. That was horrible. Welcome to American Idol Rewind. Some of the biggest stars in the music business come from Nashville, so the judges should have no trouble finding talent here. We want this bad! Singing is my life. I'm ready. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> and what better place to hold the American Idol auditions than in a country music bar? It's early in the morning on day one, and the judges are ready to see the best that Nashville has to offer. Do. Before you walk into that room, you have to throw your nerves away. You gotta walk in with the sense of entitlement that you deserve to win. And Edwin Nager believes he's the one to beat. Do you think, Edwin, you are the next American Idol? Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, all the way. Tell me about your uh, outfit here. Well, the coat was given to me as an Eagle Boy Scout present. Ah, which is the, that's the top. That's, yeah. that's the best you can do top in scouts. Rank. Yeah. Then with the feet, you know, I'm barefoot. I was just trying to stretch out my feet, and then they called my name. And like, oh, so you're not going to perform in, in the barefoot. Oh, no, I'm performing barefoot, because, you know, who cares? Whatever. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. It's part of me. If they don't like me, we'll... So, will his unique fashion Hi. sense win him any points with the judges? It's coffee. Did you ask? <laughs> I had no Thanks. choice. Here, Thank you. take it. Wow. What's your name? I'm Edwin Buchanan Nager. I'm from St. Genevieve, Missouri, 7897. And I'll be performing Somebody to Love by Jefferson Airplane. What are these CDs? Oh, yeah, this is my own stuff that I write. And I, uh, yeah, I signed some for you guys. What happened to your shoes? I just took them off so I can be more comfortable. So you can okay. be more free? Yeah. Off you right. go. When the truth is found to be lies And all the joy within you dies oh, Don't you want somebody to love? Won't you need somebody to love? He does. Wouldn't you love somebody to love? You better find somebody to love. Oh. Yeah. Simon. Wow. <laughs> Simon's sexy. He is sexy, don't you? He you is. find him sexy, don't you? Yeah, actually, he is an attractive guy. You know, a lot of people don't like him because his personality sucks. Right. But, you know, other <laughs> You than love that, him. I'd give him a kiss. Okay. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> let, let me look at this. You're in pajamas. You're no, wearing... these are not pajamas. Oh, uh, this not... is like a capote, like okay, the French fur trappers were right. worn, okay? You're a strange yeah, hat. Get it straight. Some sort of weird robe. It's a rock and You're thing. not wearing shoes, <laughs> and you snarled your way through a song. I mean, why do I need to say anything? Yeah, because, you know, I, I rock. <laughs> <laughs> No, sir. Not this time. Edwin? Yeah. <laughs> the hell was that? It was just, you know, I, w I was going for the, the uh, you know, wild in your face approach. Well, Which, picking you know, up her drink. What? I I was thirsty, man. Yeah, Paula needs a new coffee. I just, you know, I, I should have gone with a different song. I should have gone with something that was. I think it may be a different coat. I like the coat. Edwin did everything you're not supposed to do in an American Idol audition. Here's some more audition don'ts. 
Don't try to get Simon to play along. I said beaver eight, beaver nine, I said stop. It's beaver time. Don't argue with yourself. Chill, I don't want to smack this. Play with me, man. Don't play. Don't make strange sounds with your body. <clears throat> Don't think oh. that simple lyrics are a sure thing. I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. But do Remember to walk into your audition with confidence, like Taylor Weatherford. Are you from Nashville? No, I'm not. I'm from Atlanta. ATL. What are you going to sing today? I'm going to sing Come On Eileen. All right. Good choice. Poor old Johnny Ray. Say shut up on the radio. We moved to my house in my auto. Our mothers used to sing along. Who blame them? To Ralu. To Ralura, yeah. I'll leave him soon forever. Come on, Ali, no, I swear what it means. Oh, come on, Ali. Okay, Paula. I don't think you're right for American Idol. Are you Sorry. kidding me? No. I got a different voice, though. I'm better. I am so much better than that. I should hope so. That was indescribable. <laughs> really? Really? I no, wish I you could I'm be sitting. Good. I gotta tell you, I've listened to American Idol and I've heard their voices and they all sound the same to me and I think that I could bring something different to that show. Well, Taylor, let me give you some advice. Go and see an ear specialist because what you are hearing and what I'm hearing is something very different. Taylor, you can't sing. Okay. Thanks Thank for you. coming down, though. And Simon said indescribable. Yeah, he did. And you know what? That's Simon just being a jerk because Simon's a jerk. Yeah. But you know what? I'm, I'm shocked, I gotta tell you, because I have a different voice. I know I have a different voice. But it's a good different voice. It's definitely not a bad difference. But you think it's the voice that could win this competition? Yes, I do. I think it's different. It's a ska punk rock voice. It's not, you know, Aretha Franklin like everybody else here. Mm -hmm. and that's just the way I feel about it. Well, All congratulations right. on making it this far. Thank you. Nice to meet you. While Taylor walks out in disbelief, the other contestants are hoping that practice makes perfect. <laughs> What are you going to say? Dance in the street. OK. So. Right. Calling out around the world. Are you ready for a brand new beat? We're singing here in Nashville. Down in ATL. Not in Detroit City. All we need is music, sweet music. There'll be music everywhere. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. No more, no more, no more. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> singing's not kid, singing's not the it. thing for you, I don't think. I, 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 I just. We're trying to find the best. God. Not the best. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a tip to to try to do when you go to auditions. Just really project because you're speaking voice and you're casual, almost like a laziness. You then sing that way too. I'll give you a tip for future auditions. <laughs> Don't, because you can't sing. Can I get you anything? <laughs> it didn't go so well. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Not the right time to ask her for a drink, probably. Bar's open. Nope. So far, no one has received a golden ticket to Hollywood. Alden Wynn is feeling the pressure. Yeah, now I'm nervous. I was totally cool for like six days. Now I'm nervous. Oh my god. Alden, are you from Nashville? No, I'm from Roanoke, Virginia. It's about seven hours away. Yeah, cool, cool. What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing uh, Edwin McCain's I'll Be. Go for it, man. OK. And tell me that we belong together. Dress it up 
With the trappings of love, I'll be captivated. I'll hang from your lips instead of the gallows of heartache that hang around the bend. And I'll be... Okay, okay, very, very good. Paula, yes or no? I say yes. Randy. Yeah. You're coming to Hollywood. to Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood, dude. Yes, yes. Welcome to Hollywood. Thank you. Well so done, Kim. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, brother. Good job, brother. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. That was a quick yes, 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 wasn't it? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty no. good. I was impressed. I was flabbergasted. That makes Alden the first contestant oh. to get the elusive thumbs up from the judges. When we come back, could this be the beginning of something in Nashville? If I could turn back to... Or the end for Simon. There's only so much you can take in a day. Plus, American Idol standouts Reuben Stuttered, Kimberly Locke, and Trinice reveal their biggest fears. It was the first time I'd ever been unsure of myself, completely like, what am I doing? There are contestants everywhere waiting, lining up to audition in front of the judges. For example, right here. Are you going to sing today? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. You're a, a little horse. Some days you just have it, you know? Tanya thinks she has it, too. You should pick Tanya, Simon, because she is great. And if you don't, you are a loser. Hello, Tanya. Hello. What's up? What's up, girl? What's up? What are you going to sing? How could an angel break my heart by Tony Braxton? <clears throat> Great song, go for it. All right. <sighs> oh, my soul is dying. It's crying. I'm trying to understand. Please help me. How could an angel break my heart? <laughs> that was wild. Simon. <laughs> All I can think of there is you sounded like a dog dying. Thank you very much. Terrible. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Oh. I could have done so much better. Like, seriously, I was so nervous. My voice was shaking. And I was like, oh, I gotta, st I gotta end this. I gotta put myself out of, out of my own misery. This might not be the road that I should go on, but, you know, maybe it is. And I'm gonna keep trying. Hello, George. How Slow are you? Slow down, George. Not much. What are you going to do? What are you going to sing for us today? Uh, Unchained Melody. Right. One of my favorite songs That's what of I hear. Time. That's what I hear. Great Love song. song. Now, sir, kissing butt here. Okay. <laughs> mm. Go ahead. Time can do so much. Are you still my? Your love, please speed your love to me. George, that was amazing. Beautiful, beautiful voice. Thank you. Very nice to see someone your age be a throwback to a very great time. Thank very you. good. Thank you very much. Yes or no? In. <laughs> Definitely, dude. Oh, thank George, you. you coming to Hollywood, kid. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Welcome Brilliant. to Hollywood, George. George, thank way you. to go. I, I was excited on the inside. It was just hard for me to really just take everything in. And, I mean, that was just a sigh of relief right there that, okay, this this does validate that I should be here, that I'm not wasting my time, and I'm ready to go to Hollywood and, and prove that, you know, that I should be the next American Idol. The guys are gaining momentum, and Kenny Mathis Jr. wants to keep it that way. Uh, your name is? Kenny Mathis. Um, everybody calls me Buddha. Of course you are. Buddha. Boo. 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 Oh. Boo. 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 B O. Boo. Boo. Okay. Boo. Are you from Nashville? No, I'm not. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. And what are you going to sing? Um, Ain't Too Proud to Beg by The Temptations. Great song. Off yep. you go. 
I'm really ready. <laughs> I know you want to leave me, but I refuse to let you go. If I had to beg and plead for your sympathy, I don't mind, because you mean that much to me. Ain't too proud to beg. Sweet darling, please don't leave me, girl. Oh, now I heard a crime man is <laughs> half a man with no sense of pride. Okay, Kenny. <laughs> Simon, Paula. That Brandy. was a great audition. Thank you. You brought it your own thing to it? It was exciting. And... Yes or no? <laughs> yes. You know it's going to be a yes? Definitely you coming to Hollywood. You did your thing. Yes! Yes, yes! <laughs> Damn! Yeah! What are you talking about? How about that? All right. Damn. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> As Randy said, you did your thing. Yeah, I tried to. Yeah, I tried Who to. Who taught you those moves? I'm um, watching Motown, man. My daddy yeah. watches that stuff all the time. You yeah. know, I hated it growing up, but now it's paid off. Thank you, Pops. Surprisingly, the men are getting all the passes to Hollywood. I'm going to Hollywood! <laughs> so what's with the women of Nashville? And then you put your arms around me and we tumble to the ground and then we say, But maybe if I could turn back time, if I could find a way. I'm Mr. No, Alita. Sorry. I'm afraid it's a no. Really? That's it's a no. Lashundra Trenise Cobbins thinks she has the pipes to bring it home for the ladies. How are you today? I'm fine. How are y'all? Says you turned down a record deal at 14. Yes, I was not ready then, but I am totally, totally ready now. What are you going to sing for us? I learned from the best. You know the way it feels to cry the way that I cry when you broke my world you broke my world and baby I learned the way to pray God I learned from the best I learned from you thank you very much indeed very nice thank you Simon very good very very good Randy Excellent. Love the outfit, love the eyes. You're looking at us. You got conviction. Excellent. Thank you. I say yes to Hollywood? Definitely Hollywood. Oh, my goodness. Chandra, you're coming to Hollywood. Congratulations, Lissandra. Oh. We will see you there. Looking forward to it. <laughs> that day. Um, when I stood in front of the judges, it was the first time I'd ever been unsure of myself, completely like, what am I doing? And then after they said I was through, I felt like I had an outer body experience, like, you know, me, for real? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it, but it was, it was a defining moment for me. So thanks to Trinise, the girls are finally on the board. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. When we come back, find out what got Paula all hot and bothered. And top 12 finalist Kimberly Locke remembers her audition. And wake up where the clouds My goal was to sing as powerfully as I possibly could, and that's what I did. <laughs> American Idol judges came to Nashville certain that they could find some homegrown talent, but the streets were deserted. Where is everyone? Which did raise the question, does anyone actually live in Nashville? How many Nashvilleians, true Nashvilleians, do we have? People from Nashville. Anyone? Uh-oh. Are you from Nashville? No, I'm from Indiana. Are you from Nashville? No, I'm from West Virginia. No, actually, I'm from Detroit. I'm from Ohio. I'm from Arkansas. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Durham, North Carolina. Washington, D.C. Michigan. Aiken, South Carolina. California. Indiana. No, Nigeria. <laughs> Are you from Nashville? Yes, I am from Nashville. 
All right. Yeah. Finally. So this must be the kind of local talent the judges have been looking for. He was a famous trumpet man from Mount Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was a tough man at his craft. But then his number came up and he was gone with the draft. He's in the army now, blown reveille. Here's the boogie woogie bugle boy and company B. Thank you, Amber. That was horrible. Maybe Nicholas Rourke can be the first Nashvillian to make it to Hollywood. I'm from Nashville, I'm from right Atlanta. here, originally. Oh, okay. Born and raised. Well, no one else is from here. Yeah, everybody's from like Atlanta. Yeah. Well, good luck. Rock right. out. Make Nashville proud. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a real Nashvillian. Uh -huh. What do you think? I'm gonna do Drift Away by Dobie Gray. Oh, I'm like great. And roll action. Good song. Off you go. Off I go? Yeah. All right. Day after day, I'm more confused. Yet I look for the light in the pouring rain. You know that's a game that I hate to lose. And I'm feeling the strain. Ain't it a shame? Yeah, give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. They're quite sure that song works with that routine. Okay. No, you're not a good enough singer for this, dude. Nicholas, it's a no. Why not? Because it's you can't no. sing very well. Come on, guys, you sure? You sure you wanna pass it? 100 percent Positive. 100 percent Yeah, huh? it's a no. Next. Local resident Kimberly Locke really wants to make Nashville proud, but right now, all she really wants is some tape. Do we need some tape? No, next year I advise you get, for the more well endowed, you get strings for the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> because this number is not working for me. Taking notes for season three, strings for the well endowed. Okay, that wouldn't be me, but I got it. Kimberly, come on down. Are you from Nashville? Yes, I am. Yes. All right. Yes, beep, yes. Beep, 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 we beep, like beep, that. Beep. What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Um, OK. Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops way above the chimney tops that's where you'll find me somewhere over the rainbow thank you you have a great voice thank you boy do you have Ooh. a good voice thank you this competition is very interesting. You know what's happening here? What's happening? Mm. We're going to have two dimensions to this competition this year. We're going to have vocals over image. Yep. <sighs> I'm telling you clearly, now. clearly. I'm That's telling great. you now. Yes. Yeah. Because you have the kind of voice where if I had one of our a song written by one of our writers, I would love you to record yeah, one of our Yeah, without songs. a doubt. I have like, I, I'm like chills all the way down. Wow. Here. It's amazing. Thanks. Okay, Good. Randy, yes or no? Definitely yes. Paula. Absolutely yes. See you in Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. Finally, Nashville's talent is shining through. Somewhere Over the Rainbow was my own version. It was my own spin on it. I would listened to a couple of versions of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, Judy Garland, Pay LaBelle, and I kind of took it and mixed them all together and made it my own. But they loved it. They actually said, you're good. And that was like a big boost. <laughs> Day one is winding down, and some contestants will try anything to get the judges' attention. So they dressed up like rodeo clowns. Hey, not everyone likes a tie-dye cowboy, brother. Displayed some fuzzy pants. They ripped. Did it, Houston? And unzipped. <laughs> Whatever they had to do to turn up the heat. But in the end, it's a great voice, not a gimmick, that the judges want to see. Meet Ricky Smith. Nice to meet you, Ryan. I've I seen you on TV. Oh, yeah, I'm on American Idol. Yeah. You're a superstar on Fox. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it's on Fox. Oh, though. my goodness. Yeah. You're contestant number 7828, the last one of the day. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you've seen everybody come in and out. How does that make you feel before you have to go in and see the judges? Well, I mean, I'm prepared for whatever I have. they tell me, basically, yeah. Simon. Uh, I'm prepared for whatever they tell me. Um, I'm just going to go in there and do my best. Well, good luck. Yeah, I'll be watching. Thank you very much. Okay, boss. I love you. Thank you. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. What are you going to sing? One Last Cry by Brian McKnight. Off you go. 
I give my best to you, but nothing for me to do. But a one last cry, one last cry, before I leave it all behind. I've got to put you out of my mind this time. Thank you very much indeed. Very nice voice. How old are you? 22. 22. Nice voice. I'm confused about your image of, of you look much older than you actually are. Well, I mean, I can look much younger. <laughs> really good voice. Well, yes and no, guys. I think this guy's in the top 5% in vo and I voices agree. we've heard. I agree. So. Definitely saying, you just need to dress younger, dude. Okay. So, That's yes. Okay. Yes to Hollywood. You don't want to dress like your dad. Yes okay. to Hollywood? Yes for me. Yes to Hollywood. Come back Come to Hollywood. Come into Hollywood. Work Hollywood. it out. Oh, this is fabulous. Uh, <laughs> 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 work and Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Hercules, Hercules all right. <laughs> clothes that I had on were not the clothes that I was originally going to wear, but I washed my pants and they shrink. So that kind of sucks. So I ended up having to put on some slacks and an old man river sweater. The first thing I was thinking was, oh crap, this is what, this was not what I was supposed to wear in the first place. Coming up, nothing could prepare the judges for day two. Oh, 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 oh. I don't recognize that song at all. And in an American Idol Rewind exclusive, Corey Clark speaks out. My initial goal was just to get to see Simon. I was kind of like, just put myself on the top of black. It's day two of the American Idol auditions. And the cold weather inspires some Nashville contestants to begin the holiday season a little early. Brandon, what are you going to sing today? Let it snow. I want it to snow. <laughs> so do I. <clears throat> oh, the weather outside is frightful. The fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, the weather. Oh. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the storm. If you only hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. I don't want it to snow anymore. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. So far, the judge's reaction has been bah humbug. But Leroy is hoping to put them in a jolly mood. The angel boy says, don't die. Okay, Leroy, I don't recognize that song at all. I mean, I love A Holy Night. Well, it's another lump of coal from the judges. Maybe 16-year-old Suzanne can give them what they're wishing for. Hi. I saw you outside with your mom. Yes. And she was pointing at you, saying you're the next American That's mother. right. She you were the one. She thinks I am. Not many mothers say that, actually. Oh, she does. <laughs> Everywhere we go. What are you going to sing for us today? Um, Unchained Melody. Great. Time goes by so slowly that time can do so much. Are you still mine? I need your love. God speed your love to me. Thank you. You're like a little American sweetheart, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I'm a sweetheart. <laughs> He loves that. <laughs> no, you've got that kind of thing going for you. You know, you're cute, you're young, and you sing well. Yes or no to Hollywood? Believe it or not, I'm going to say yes. Oh. Uh, it's a yes. Congratulations, you're Thank coming you. to Hollywood. Tell your mom she was right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is my mom. And, yeah, 
Yeah, she's great, so. <laughs> she thinks I'm American Idol, so. Thank you, thank you so much. It's a cute young, with a good voice. Yeah, they said that. And yeah, he's yeah. hot, too, so get me on today. Right in front of your mother, careful. Let's not get grounded before we go to Hollywood. That's right, I will be watching. <laughs> Up next, the energy in Nashville is at a fevered pitch. Can the judges handle the heat? Ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. Day two continues in Nashville, and the spirits are high in the holding room. And if the contestants aren't singing, they're dancing. Spencer Ralston thinks he's got all the right moves to impress the judges. What are you going to sing for us today? Uh, all or Nothing by o -Town. Great. That distant look is in your eyes. I thought with time you'd realize it's over. Over is not the way I choose to live And something somewhere's got to give Cause I want it all or not, thank you <laughs> Thank you, Randy No, that wasn't how that song goes at all You really can't sing, dude What were you thinking about? That was disastrous I mean, what I don't understand is why all these guys like yourself come in and sing a ballad and do these weird dances. The two don't go together. It's like putting mustard on a donut. While Spencer tries to digest Simon's comments, Ryan Beaton is determined not to give up his dream. You think you're the next American Idol? I could very possibly be. So what are you going to sing? Ain't no mountain high enough. Go One for it. One of my Perfect favorite song. songs ever. <clears throat> Listen, baby. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. Can't stop me, baby, no, no, baby. Ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Simon. <sighs> that was excruciating. Will Kelly Renee Ransom help ease Simon's pain or just make it worse? How you doing? I'm great. How are y'all? Very good. What are you going to sing for us? Um, Grapevine. Great. Go ahead. Oh, oh, I bet you're wondering how I knew about your plans to make me blue with some other girl you knew before. Between the two of us, girls, you know I loved you more. Girl, it took me <laughs> by surprise, I must say. When I found out yesterday, baby, I heard it through the grapevine. Good. Good job. Very nice, Kelly. Very nice. Good job. Randy. Very nice. Good. Good personality, good singing voice. Makes a big difference. Randy, yes or no? Yes. Paula? Yes. You're coming to Hollywood, kid. I'm going to Hollywood. I'm going to Hollywood. You're going to Hollywood. Kelly Hollywood. Renee is going to Hollywood. <laughs> and nobody can celebrate success quite like the South. Next up, American Idol winner Ruben Stutter tells all. I've always been pretty confident about my ability as a singer, but I was very nervous. And could this little guy give Ruben a run for his title? I'm a Miss American Idol. <laughs> Day two continues, and the American Idol contestants are giving each other a little taste of the competition. You better wake up and pay attention. Said, baby, let's, let's stay together. Bugs in a spot when you get home. Baby, when you get home. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But will Matina be able to command any respect from the judges? You guys ready to rock out? Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. And I say now, what you want, 
Baby, I've got it, what you need. You know I've got it on my skin. It's for dinner, it's back when you get home. Baby, when you get home, I'll say, hoo-hoo, little respect. Thank you. <sighs> Good voice. I feel you're all over the place and not ready. Yeah, it sounds like to me you should be like a blues singer in like a bar band or something. I don't think you're right for this That's kind of exactly thing. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. There's a place for all kinds of singers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Well, I have a hunch this guy is definitely in the right place. There's not a minute, hour, day, a night that I don't love you. You're at the top of my list, cause I'm always thinking of you. Oh, my love. What's up, man? You all right? I'm straight. How y'all doing? Oh, Good. Cool, how are man. you? So what are you going to sing, man? Ribbon in the Sky. Right. Is this your first audition? First major audition. But you think you could be the next American Idol, right? Of course, of course. <laughs> Without <laughs> doubt. Without a doubt. All right, go for it. Oh, so long for this night I prayed that a star would guide you my way to share with me this special day. There's a ribbon in the sky for our love. If allowed, may I touch your hand? And if please... Thank you. Okay. All right, all right. Paula, what do you say? Ruben, you have a very nice voice. What a nice, nice job. Simon, what do you think? Very good voice. Thank you. Very good voice. Mm -hmm. Randy, what I do you think? I think very good voice as well. Um, yes or no to American Idol? I would say yes. Thank the Lord. Thank oh, my well, God. It ain't just me. That's only RJ. Yes. Paula? Then you're going to Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood, dog! <laughs> Birmingham, Alabama, represent Birmingham. <laughs> I just like to say hello to my mama. I love you, mama. Thank you for being so supportive to me my whole life. This is my brother. And to my dad, I love you too. Birmingham, we're on our way back home, and I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> I've always been pretty confident about my uh, ability as a singer, but I was very nervous because no matter how good you sound, you never know what they're looking for. So when they told me I was going to Hollywood, I was pretty damn excited. Can I say damn on American? Okay, good. <laughs> so the big guy's off to California, but how much does size really matter? I'm a Miss American Idol. <laughs> I'm five years old and I can sing and I stare at the bump. I'm just going to sing. All right, do your thing. I've been really trying, baby, holding back this feeling for so long. And do you feel like I feel, baby? Come on, oh, come on, and let's get it on. Let's get it on. on. I already did it. Oh, you were so good. Hey, no, stay here for a second. Let us talk to you. That was a very nice performance. Probably one of the best ones we've seen. I didn't like it. <laughs> of course. He doesn't know, yeah. though. I can say it's on Hollywood. Yes, OK. Paula, yes or no to Hollywood? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should come to Hollywood with us. I'm going to say no. But we overrule, so guess what? You're going to Hollywood. <laughs> um, the um, Caucasian boy didn't like this. The song. Caucasian one, huh? <laughs> yep, he yeah. liked it, but the brown dude liked it. The brown dude liked it, and the Caucasian guy didn't. Yeah, the Caucasian guy didn't like much. He don't like any song. That's right. <laughs> so the little guy joins the big guy with a lot of love from the judges. Oh, come on, and let's get on. <laughs> Coming up, Corey Clark hits the high notes. No, 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 no. And contestants confess all their audition secrets. I was so stressed out from wondering whether or not I was going to make it to the next round. It's 
last call in Nashville, Tennessee, and Ryan thinks he recognizes one of the contestants. Do you know who you kind of look like? Who's that? Who do people say? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, Elder Bars. I was going to say Snoop Dogg. Dogg. They say Snoop Dogg. I, I think you I don't like see Snoop that. Dogg and Justin Gorini. I don't see that. Justin, <laughs> I've heard that a couple times, but he's not the only cat. Two of the most opposite Michael people Trump. in America, Snoop Dogg and Justin Guarini. Yeah. And there's Corey. Hey, man. Ooh. You look kind of familiar. Corey yeah. Clark. Yes, ma'am. What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Never Can Say Goodbye by Michael Jackson. Love it. Every time I think I've had enough and start heading for the door, there's a very strange vibration that pierces me right to the core. It says, turn around, you fool. You know you love her more and more. Tell me why. Is it so? I never can say goodbye. No, no, no. Thank you, Randy. It sounded good. Very nice. Very nice. Paula. I think you've got star quality. I really do. I liked you a lot. I say yes. Thank you. Yeah, I think you have a good recording voice. I think the only similarity between Justin and this guy is the hair. Because the hair, yeah. That, there is no similarity there whatsoever. Right. Very, very. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, well, that's a good thing. Draw your own conclusion, You're Kip. Okay. You're going I to do Hollywood. That. Well, all right, going, going back, back to Cali. Out that right. door. My initial goal was just to get to see Simon, because Simon was the man eater. He was the dude cutting off people's heads that didn't deserve to be there, you know? And I was kind of like just putting myself on the chopping block. It was great being able to impress Simon. I was on cloud nine all after that. My little sister was, come back down here, big head. Come on, come on. It's mind blowing, man. It's, it's cool. I was going to Hollywood. So Corey Clark joins the 29 other folks from Nashville who move on to round two in Hollywood. Oh, oh, congratulations. Birmingham, Alabama. A lot of people that made the top 10 auditioned in Nashville. Kimberly, myself, Corey Clark, Ricky, and Trenise. That was our team, the Nashvilleans. My goal was to sing as powerfully as I possibly could for those 30 seconds that I had. And that's what I did. <laughs> See you in Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. When I made it through to Hollywood, I was like, I'm gonna do something crazy. So the first person that popped up was Eddie Murphy because he's my favorite actor. Oh, <laughs> Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> I did not change my name. People think I changed my name, but I'd always wanted to go by Trinice. And I've read all kinds of stuff. Oh, she changed her name because she thinks she's Madonna. And I'm like, no, that's my middle name. Walking away from the final auditions in Nashville was a relief. And it was also a burden now because I was so stressed out from wondering whether or not I was going to make it to the next round. It was just a big shock to know that you were about to be a part of something that was just as big as American Idol. I thought it was pretty darn exciting. I appreciate it. And don't mess with me, Ruben. <laughs> <laughs>